At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple, common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. Thousand years of time travel. Here we are. known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. The sea is launching to us. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory. every show and share with our guests that uh, Mariachi Kobre has been probably a part of the Disney, Walt Disney family now, what's today? 40 years, 40th anniversary. Yeah. And of course, of course we, uh, we wouldn't be here again tonight, and I mentioned this all the time, we wouldn't be here one day if it wasn't for our wonderful guests that come and, and, and attend our shows and attend here at Walt Disney World. So thank you, thank you so much for all those 40 wonderful years. And also, uh, among the, uh, the group, uh, we have two members that were here on day one. How about a round of applause for everybody for Israel Molina and Alberico Estela Carrillo. Now they were here uh, again on day one. I mean, they were here so long ago, there was no water in the lagoon, right? <laughs> tells us the story all the time. It was amazing. Like in two days, they filled up a whole lagoon. So that's a Walt, uh, Walt uh, Disney magic there for you, right there. Uh, and we started our show with two wonderful pieces of music. The first one was a traditional song from Jalisco, El Son de la Negra. And you just recognize the song we performed, right? El Cirito Lindo, the second anthem of Mexico. Uh, this next song is from a movie that I think amongst everybody, I don't think I have to ask. Let me hear it if you've seen the movie Coco. Who's it Coco? Yes. Wonderful movie, beautiful soundtrack, a celebration, beautiful holiday in Mexico. So uh, everybody, this is a wonderful song with a message. El mundo es mi familia. <laughs> Yeah. 
culture from around the world showcase to the quintessential songs from our attractions that are woven into the fabric of this incredible place for more than four decades to the the incredible group that I have the honor and pleasure of introducing to you all now no one's more iconic than Epcot's very own Voices of Liberty <laughs> as a dream, twinkling in the eye of one, Mr. Walter Elias Disney. Request is too extreme. 
exciting, by far the most important part of our Florida project. In fact, the heart of everything we'll be doing in Disney World will be our experimental prototype city of the morning. We call it Epcot, spelled E-P-C-O-T, Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. Like a boat out of the blue, the steps in and sees you.
Voice for the Liberty. And here's to another 40 years of imagination. <laughs> and the beauty, and the beauty of a milestone is, it's just another step in our journey to a bright future here at Epcot. So thank you so much for celebrating with us and wherever your imagination takes you, enjoy it and have fun. Thank you all.